ever be on my lips. Praise will ever be on my lips. Ever be on my lips. Praise will ever be on my lips. Ever be on my lips. Praise will ever be on my lips. You will be. food for thought. This week we're going to continue talking about praise and worship, a deeper understanding of praise and worship. You know, the greatest discovery a human being can find is the real evidence for the existence of God. In truth, only God can reveal himself to us. The second discovery that's really great is that God loves each of us and that through Jesus Christ, he desires a true personal relationship with each and every one of us. As our prayer and worship is focused on the Lord, he moves us into a greater revelation of him where we can truly find that joy that's found in his presence. The prayer of inviting Jesus to be your Lord and Savior is a life-changing transformation into his kingdom, where you're taken out of the fallen kingdom in your desires and all your will, and you're actually transferred into the kingdom of God. Prayer, when we pray, it invites King God's kingdom to earth. Your kingdom come, your will be done. It waits on him to answer our prayer. Praise and worship focused on Jesus opens our eyes to behold him as he inhabits our heartfelt praise. The opposite of worshiping the Lord is sinning against him. In worship, we draw near to him and submit to him, where in sin, we want to run away and hide from him. The more we pray, the more we worship, the closer we are drawn to his presence. Seek and you will find is a promise from Jesus himself. God reveals himself to each of us so that we can discover and experience his very presence, the reality of his presence and the reality of his love for each and every one of us. Praise and worship are wonderful acknowledgments of God's existence. And when you praise him, you're actually joining in in agreement with him. You're joining our will with his will. We're asking, seeking, knocking, and trusting in him. Praise and worship should be together as two sides of the same face focused on God. Although a two-faced person often separates them. Let's compare praise and worship. Praise is our response to God's actions. It contains thanksgiving and appreciation. We praise God for his mighty acts and we praise his name that identifies him 
as the one doing those mighty acts. Worship, on the other hand, is a direct response to God himself, to the person of God. By definition, it means to bow down, showing honor and respect in the spirit. It's a submission to God and his ways. So looking at that praise, wow, the great things that God has done. Worship is more of a response to him and bowing your heart to him. A two-faced person will give an emotional, soulish, fleshly kind of praise for just the good things. Wow, I'm so glad of these blessings. And a lot of people can praise God, but they cannot truly into worship, enter into worship with him. They refuse to bow their lives to him. In other words, they love God's blessings, but refuse to follow him. There's a lot of churches that, that just, they're great in praise, but in the act of worship, it's not as much seen. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13 in the New Living Translation. And so the Lord says, these people say they are mine. They honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. And their worship of me is nothing but man-made rules learned by rote. In other words, we're not worshiping in spirit and truth, but our way, not his. Psalm 29 verse 2 says, Give unto the Lord glory to his name. Worship the Lord. Look what it says. What's worship? In the beauty of holiness. See, somebody can praise God and yet not actually walk with God. They love the blessings. They love the good feelings. But when it comes time to say, you know what, you need to deny yourself and pick up your cross and follow him, they won't go there. Worship, by definition, is bowing and submission to the Lord. Worship the Lord and the beauty of his holiness. Worship requires humility. A prideful person will not submit to God. Just like what happened when the fall of Lucifer happened. Worship truly is extreme submission into God's pure love. When you're submitting to God, God is love. You're submitting to his love. Many people buy the lie that you submit to God and you're going to miss out on some good things. No, you're submitting to his love, to his power, to the one who is the champion of what is good. That's what worship is all about, submitting to his love. And of course, you can't talk about love without looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 7. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Boy, do we need that today. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. When you are worshiping the Lord, you're submitting yourself to his love that will work in you. Your, his love will work out of you. That's why you're able to take his love and love other people with the love of the Lord. God's praise endures forever. Be part of the angels and the called out ones who have found the joy 
of praising God in his presence. The angels and all those in heaven have submitted to God and are true worshipers. And Jesus says the Father is seeking after true worshipers. Today we want to remind you to submit your life to God. Repent of anything that's getting in the way. In fact, take the joy of it and just offer it up to him and let the fire of God consume that thing. May his praise be forever on your lips and may your heart be forever submitted to him. This has been God's food for thought. Have a blessed day praying, praising, and worshiping him. solid gold like a vow that is tested like a covenant of old your love is enduring through the winter rain and beyond the horizon mercy for today faithful you have been faithful you will be Pledge yourself to me, and it's why I sing your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. You father the orphan kindness makes us whole you shoulder our weakness and your strength becomes our own you're making me like you clothing me in white bringing beauty from ashes you will have your bride free of all her guilt rid of all her shame Known by her true name, and it's why I sing your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be on my lips. You will be praised, you will be praised, with angels and saints we sing worthy are you. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be. On my lips. Ever be on my lips.